First, growing into a Category 5 monster storm, residents in Puerto Rico and the British Virgin Islands hoping Aaron stays far enough from their coast. Tropical storm watch in effect for St. Martin, St. Bart's, uh, and a lot of that area over there, again, the British Virgin Islands. Thank goodness a storm of that intensity not heading directly towards us. Okay. First alert meteorologist Sammy Squires is here. And so, Sammy, though, we are going to see some effects from Aaron yes. down the road. Yes, absolutely. Indirect impacts are definitely possible as we head into next week. Maybe not Monday, but starting on Tuesday, we are expecting to uh, see those waves really increase from this hurricane. Now, Hurricane Aaron, it went from a Cat 1 to a Cat 5 in less than 24 hours. That's what we call rapid intensification. So still maintaining Cat 5 status here with 160 mile per hour winds. But notice the size. It's actually not the biggest Cat 5 I've ever seen. but Models show that it's going to either double or even triple in size over the next few days. So that's going to generate some dangerous swells from the hurricane. So looking at the surf, I mean, it's going to be pretty intense, especially along the northern coast of Florida and through central coast. So we will be watching for these waves to uh, really be generated starting on Tuesday along the Treasure Coast and then heading into Wednesday and Thursday for our Palm Beaches. But yeah, it has a really thick core here where there's going to be 10 plus uh, feet of waves towards the eye. Now, towards our coastline, we're not expecting it to be uh, nearly that bad, but overall still watching for potential hazards starting on Tuesday and continuing through Thursday. What this means is, well, we're going to be watching for a high risk of life threatening rip currents along our coastline, especially in the Treasure Coast. Also high surf in dangerous boating conditions, even in our inlets. We're looking at five to eight feet for the breakers, as well as our near shore seas, six to nine feet. So yes, our seas are going to get really bumpy as we head into next week. We're gonna take a look at next week's forecast coming up soon. Now you can track the tropics and the local forecast with our WPTV First Alert weather team. Just use the QR code on your screen to download that free WPTV news app.